2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports Free Game Show. Showtime for the Raptors as they pulled into the building a squad that looks more than ready for the game ahead of them. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. The Mats Coit Tower, perched high atop Telegraph Hill here in San Francisco. We're just about set for action. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, for the Golden State Warriors, making five straight finals appearances took a toll, mentally and physically. The Warriors played the equivalent of an extra full season in those five straight finals runs. Injuries derailed their title hopes in 2019, and they're still recovering. But Kevin, they are certain that their championship window remains open. The DA, they got a lot of pride there, there's no doubt, and rightfully so. Thank you. And let's look at the last handful of seasons and the steal numbers for Curry. And when you see the tumble his steal totals have taken the last few years, you, you can see that he's gotten away from playing the kind of gritty, hard-nosed D he was known for. That, that's an aspect of his game he needs to get back. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. Leonard and Ibaka are the forward pairing. And it's Marc Gasol. Then there's Lowry. And it's Poole in at the two-guard spot. And for the Warriors... Green is out there with DeAndre Jordan. Then it's Trevor Ariza. Then there's Austin Rivers. And it's Curry in at the point. And tonight, two teams, Brent, that like to get into their sets, work the ball, have a little patience. Back in your day, what was your favorite play to run in half court? Any NBA player, Kevin, will tell you their favorite play to run in the half court was any play that was called for, for them. them. <laughs> yeah. So let's start with that. Uh, but most of the time, I just enjoyed sets where the ball moved around. Four or five touches. We talk often about good to great. But when you knew the opportunity for you to shoot the ball was there, but there was a better one for the next guy, that's when you're operating at a high level. Now here's Lowry after the miss from Stephen Curry. Lowry passes to Leonard. over Ariza and it's Leonard missing Baca against Ariza takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup Ariza not letting the defense mess with him at all in that play Poole the pass to Lowry here's Poole he's guarded by Rivers pass to Leonard outside Lowry five to shoot Pulls up. The Warriors pull it in. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Ariza finds Jordan. For the three. The rebound by Gasol. Last outing for Golden State, it was a loss to the Bulls in Chicago. Outside Lowry. Side Gasol. Pass to Leonard. The Raptors need to get a shot off. Stolen by Rivers. And he drops in the way up off the glass. I like that he gets out and runs that time. That's well within the wheelhouse of Austin Rivers finishing on the break. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. It's Gasol missing. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Ariza against Leonard. Ariza kicks to Curry. Four on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Shot from free throw range. He can't hit that time. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Last time they met was in Toronto. Not a close contest either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid, and the bench was the difference. Well, the second unit came in last game and just played lights-out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. 
Well, whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Draymond Green is one of the more unique players in the league. There really isn't anyone else like Draymond. I mean, who does everything for a team but score? I mean, not only can he play all positions on both ends of the floor, but also to be the emotional leader, truly a special player. And it's easy to see why a team would want Ariza on their roster. Makes the right decisions, mentors young players, and is well-respected throughout the league. Changes here for the Warriors. Whitesides checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Jordan Bell comes in for Draymond Green. And it's Rondé Hollis Jefferson in for Trevor Ariza. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Raptors. Now here is Lowry. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. A, a veteran guard with a knack for penetrating defenses. Lowry can pretty much get any shot he wants. Curry against Lowry. Takes the three. Curry can't get it to go. Raptors trail by four. Pass to Poole. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Curry against Lowell. Hollis Jefferson passes to Curry. Warriors the rebound. Ice it again. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. They get Marcus Gasol. Well, it's almost as if Whiteside had a watch on and showed patience waiting for the defense to come down and draw the foul. First trip to the line for him here. He misses the free throw. Well, he might not be blocking four shots a game anymore, but Hassan Whiteside's still a factor in the paint defensively. And the Warriors making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. And he sinks the second. And with Whiteside, his size and length set him apart from others defensively. Greg, even at the center position. You just can't ignore the reach and coverage that Whiteside has when he's in the paint. Even though the block numbers aren't what they once were, the amount of shots he changes is still very high. Here is Bell after the Raptors pick up two. Goes up on the high post. Curry's shot is off. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. To the paint. Stolen away. On oh, here comes Curry all alone. Finished off the break. Well, getting down the floor quickly, this is a huge part of the offensive attack that this team deploys, and Steph was wide open. Now here's Van Vliet. Middleton up top. Unloads from 13. Almost, but it rolls out. Warriors leading by three. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Whiteside. It's rebounded by Ananobi. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Curry against Brown. Back to Middleton. Ibaka outside. The 19-footer is on the money. Uh, all that practice on the positioning and, and timing of the catch and shoot paying huge dividends for Ibaka. Got three off the mark. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The Warriors on top, leading by just one.
Live from Chase Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Marcus also appreciated by his fans and certainly a lot of Spanish speaking fans excited about his success. Which is fun. You see more fans on the stands um, that speak Spanish, um, even if they're from Spain or um, Argentina, Mexico, whatever they're from, they, uh, they support the Spanish speaking people and they love the game also. And great to see so many different cultures and countries embrace the game. Yes, and, and with players like Gasol having so much success, I think it helps give those Latino and, and Spanish-speaking fans a connection to the NBA. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack, as soon as they got the ball, constantly in transition. Three at point with McCaw at the two. They're the backcourt. Bell is out there with Whiteside, and it's Hollis Jefferson in at the small forward position. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, Kyle Lowry is hard-nosed, as we all know, and if you ask him, it comes from his upbringing in Philadelphia. Lowry said, a Philly player is what a basketball player is. We played on concrete. You got to be mentally tough. You're not trying to be athletic. You get hit the wrong way, you run into a metal pole. And Kevin, that's what made him from Philly to Villanova to Toronto to an NBA champion. I don't know about running into the metal pole, but that sounds, that sounds painful. But he's certainly as tough as he can be. David, thank you. Some changes for Golden State. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Whiteside. Draymond Green comes in for Bell. And Trevor Ariza subbed in for Hollis Jefferson. The Raptors also with a sub. Leonard, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Now here's Curry. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Bulls in Chicago. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. The pass to on and over. Leonard against Ariza. Round kicks to Ibaka. Here's on an over. Over Jordan. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Iguodala outside. Here's Curry. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Iguodala. Curry's got his second basket of the game. Most every team now, Brent, looking to run when they can run. Who's the most lethal big man in transition? You can get baseline to baseline in a hurry and make a difference at the other end. Don't think I've seen any player do the type of things at his size and with his stride than Giannis. I just, I just think there were eye-popping plays that people could not wrap their head around what it is he could do, taking two steps from half court, lengthening out his right arm to finish at the rim, grabbing offensive rebounds from the block, not taking any steps and dunking it over the top and getting to the free throw line. Giannis running in transition as a big is, is a problem for the defense. And all that on the offense, but on his defensive side, he was always doing the same kind of things defensively. Blocking shots, blocking out, whatever the case may be. Yep, causing, I mean, just the simple fact of being a deterrent, Kevin, to people yeah. coming into the lane and using that length. I mean, Giannis Antetokounmpo is something special in that regard as Both a big. Both ends of the floor, I totally agree. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. moment to take a look at the best three-point shooting teams in the NBA. The Warriors, fourth. Fifth, the Raptors. 
And the shooting display both these teams have put on this season has been remarkable. I mean, there are just three-point shooters all over the floor. Gasol with the steal. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Now it's a three-point Toronto lead. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Only given up six here in this quarter. Rivers finds Jordan. Rejected by Gasol. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Cool, the pass to Lowry. Outside Leonard lets it go from deep. No good that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. And you cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost them. Now here's Leonard after the miss from Andre Iguodala. Shot clock at six. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Golden State gets called for the foul. When he came into the NBA, Kawhi Leonard wasn't the most refined player, but something in Spurs management and with the work of the coaching staff, they found a superstar. And he knocks down the first one. Free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Iguodala. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. As he enters his mid-30s, Mark Gasol showing no signs of slowing down. If anything, I think he's a better all-around basketball player. And it's the Warriors with the ball. After Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. Pass to Green. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And through his first eight seasons in the NBA, Mark Gasol made a total of 12 three-pointers. Nowadays, Greg, he'll make more than that in a month. <laughs> and, and you ask around, he's always been capable. A, a great shooting touch. It's, it's just a different job description for big men nowadays. A three-pointer off the mark. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Ariza outside. There's 25 seconds left in the first half. Master Rivers fires for three. Gasol with the rebound. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. Every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Leonard, that's for two. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Raptors lead by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Kawhi, you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Uh, you know, just knocking out open shots, uh, my ball handling, and making good decisions, off the pick and roll, and just try to limit my turnovers. And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. 
Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. The first quarter for the Raptors was fairly even. The game was always within a fairly narrow margin, with their largest deficit of the period being six. They asserted themselves nicely in the second quarter and now have a fairly comfortable five-point lead here at halftime. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, I like that effort on the board because the game could come down to just a few key possessions, and extra rebounds can give you those extra possessions if you work at it. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? Well, a lot of their points came in transition. They dictated the pace of the game. It was a fast pace. Defense back on his heel. I say keep attacking the second half. Do not slow down. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Toronto leading by five. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So for Toronto right now, Leonard and Ibaka are the forward pairing. Then there's Lowry, and it's Mark Gasol. And it's Poole in at the two spot. Here's Curry after the Raptors pick up two. The dish to Rivers. Down to five on the shot clock. Ariza kicks to Rivers. And the three ball is good. Rivers has got five now. Uh, there you have it. Shot clock winding down. And Rivers shows his medal. Here's Poole. Second shot opportunity. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. It's his first trip to the line. First one falls for him. And the movement to bring the NBA back to Seattle, the Pacific Northwest, right? You played there half a decade. I know you've got fond memories. How much does that city love the NBA? Uh, the Seattle fans are incredible and, and, I don't now, know how and much, knowledgeable. How, yes, and how much longer do we have to keep talking about how we want a team in Seattle? One of the it's great cities in this country. A fantastic uh, place to, to, to play, to live, and uh, the city is starved to get the Sonics back up there in the green. And, and they'll support it. Oh, there's no question about it. So the time is ticking, and everybody's excited about the opportunity in the near future for the team to return. Leonard looking over the floor. Passes to Poole. Goes up on the block. In deep. Leonard drops it in. Leonard's got the lead up to eight now for the Raptors. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Lowry against Curry. There's the pass to Rivers. And the Warriors tack on two more. Yeah, you see it. There's just confidence written all over his face. And that's not something that Austin Rivers came into the league with, but has oodles of it now. Now here's Gasol. Taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now he averages about nine points a game. Leonard. And too long on the shot. Warriors trail by six. Bobs it up for Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Uh, that's where they look to him most. DeAndre Jordan with arms that go on for days. Just toss that ball anywhere, and he knows what to do with it. 
Toronto calls timeout. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Right side's checked in for DeAndre Jordan, and it's Bell in for Draymond Green. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Now Lowry, he's averaging just around eight and a half points a game, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. They get Stephen Curry. And this is where Ibaka is becoming a little more savvy. Just catches the defense off guard, all they can do at that point is foul. The first free throw is good. One of the best free throw shooting bigs in the league, but that wasn't always the case for Ibaka. He has put in a ton of work. He doesn't get the second one. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. From deep. And it's Lowry with the rebound. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. And it's Middleton penetrating. And he banks in the layup. And the Raptors lead by seven. They are just killing them on the interior. Curry kicks to Bell. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. It's rebounded by Gasol. Gasol's got four rebounds now tonight. And looking at the numbers for Whiteside the last few years, Greg, it seems like his production has come back down a bit. And for a minute, Whiteside looked like he could be a dominant center. But he struggled since his great 2017 season. Shot selection has been hurting. And, and sometimes it feels like he is in his own way as a player. Raptors leading by seven. Bobs it up for Ibaka, and Ibaka slams it in. And the slithery agility of Ibaka. Not many guys can go up with him to stop the catch and dunk. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. On an OB, he's checked in for the Raptors. First Bell with it. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. And here is Curry. Just four to shoot. A nice shot by Rivers. Yeah, that's just working for the better shot. We always talk about in the NBA, good to great, great possession there. And there's the call on Austin Rivers. That's foul number two for him. And the Warriors making a change here. Ariza's checked in. Here's Gasol. The Warriors pull it in. Bell's got rebound number five here tonight. Outside Curry. Kicks to Ariza. We've got 118 left in the third. Pass to Bell. Just five on the clock. Rebound by the Raptors. Gasol's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Ananobi. Right side Gasol. 
Sinks that one from the post. And the Raptors lead by nine. And that's your all-star center. Gasol making a play. He gives this team a lot of size and a lot of toughness on both ends. Now, here's Whiteside. Rivers kicks to Curry. Passes it to Whiteside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Toronto leading by seven. Now here's Van Vliet. He's still scoreless so far in this one. A shot off that time. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Curry against Gasol. The pass to Rivers. Wide open. Bucket is good. And now just a five-point Raptor lead. When your superstar is as unselfish as Steph Curry is, that's what gets other guys going. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Raptors out in front, up five. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from San Francisco. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. They've got Whiteside, Trevor Ariza out there with Green. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Rivers in at the shooting guard position. That's the Warriors' five. Now here's Rivers. Curry is inside. Another shot. Whiteside. Great D that time for Middleton. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And Leonard gets it to go. Hard to deny Leonard when he gets in that close to the rim. Too many ways for him to get creative to score. Curry with it. Covered by Van Vliet. Wide side, the pass to Curry. Green dishes to Rivers. To the middle. Here's Whiteside. And the jam by Whiteside. I like that. Staying alert. Rivers keeping his head up to find the open man. play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter and it's good for two and the Raptors lead by seven guys that's just really unstoppable he poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing here's Curry lays it up and despite of the excellent defense at that that's tremendous balance Steph's ability to keep his composure in that tough situation, worked in a tight space. That's impressive. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Raptors. On Wednesday, then on Friday, they'll be facing off against DeMarcus Cousins and the Miami Heat. And this is a perfect situation for them coming up. They'll be facing a lot of teams that they should beat, and those games will be at home. Can't ask for a better stretch of the schedule. And he makes the first. And the Warriors with some changes. Jordan comes in for Hassan Whiteside. Hollis Jefferson subbed in for Trevor Ariza. And the Raptors also making a change. The Bacchus checked in. <laughs> Leonard hits them both. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Now here's Curry, covered by Van Vliet. Hollis Jefferson passes to Curry. Leonard with the steal. And it's Van Vliet, top of the key. Oh, that's blocked. 
Rivers surveying the D. The alley-oop layup, very well done. And DJ knows his role on the offensive end. It's pretty simple. An efficient shooter in the post and a great roller. Outside Leonard. Back to Van Vliet. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Van Vliet's got two points of the night. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Outside, Green. Back to Curry. Let's the three fly. Good on the three-point shot. Yeah, and they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Now here's Leonard. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Curry finds Rivers. A floater comes up empty, and he's now five for eight. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Cool, the pass to Gasol. And the layup's good off the glass. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. our Jordan player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finish it strong. Trevor Ariza's checked in for the Warriors. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out and told his guys the inside game is working, so stick with it. That means posting, slashing, getting to the rim, whatever produces these high percentage looks. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. And here's Leonard following the three from Austin Rivers. And there's Mark Gasol on the assist from Leonard. Gasol's got five points now in the quarter. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Yeah, nice effort there in tracking down the long rebound. 127 left in the fourth quarter. Ariza against Leonard. Shots good by Ibaka. And now it's an eight-point Toronto lead. What awareness there from Kawhi, waiting for his teammate to break free and then finds him. Pass to Rivers. Back to Curry. Six to shoot. There's the triple. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Leonard, the pass to Gasol. Shoots over Curry. Offensive rebound. And Gasol gets it to go. But the truth is they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Now here's Curry. He kicks it to Green. Pops it up for Jordan. Now Draymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around. At some point, one's going to break open. Then he finds them. And it's the Raptors' ball. They're leading by eight. Outside Leonard. So it's Toronto winning this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, 
you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Serge. Big game offensively. What was going right tonight? Man, just focus, you know. Uh, my teammates did a great job to find me open. And just focus, man. Just focused, got it done. Thank you, Serge. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.